hello YouTube friends, Alicia back with a uh, share. This is not a junk journal, it is a smash book. I was watching Diane H on YouTube this morning and um, I was inspired to make one. I have made smash books before but I just was inspired to make another one and I've already started using this one and I actually have two. Um, this is the first one I will show you and then I will be making another one probably fairly similar to this one. If anyone is interested, let me know. There will be a couple of variances, but it will be about 20 of the pages will be the same. There's 25 pages. Um, and then I will substitute uh, the other five with something else. So it'll be 25 pages. It would be the same cover size, which is about nine by six, a little bit more on each side. It's like nine by one and six by one or something crazy. Um, and it would not have the metal corners. The reason being is I don't actually want, didn't actually really want metal, metal corners. However, I made a mistake with um, the mitering of the paper or whatever that's called when you fold it over and have your edges meet. So um, I put corners on it. And I'm, well, I shouldn't say it won't. It may if I screw it up again. Hopefully not. Um, but yes, so there are corners on here. And of course, um, I will most likely spiral bind mine. Um, but I don't want to do that until I'm a little bit further along in the process of using this journal. Just because I need to know how big of spirals I want. Or if it gets too big, I will leave it with rings. Um, the one I make will probably be spiral bound. I, mm, I don't know. I shouldn't even say that. It will either be ring or spiral bound. If it is ring bound, it won't be 12. It will be six. I won't punch holes in every, um, in every slot on my cinch. Yes. Okay. Anyway, let's get started. So I just went through some of my papers that I really liked. There's no rhyme or reason other than I liked each of these papers. Um, so it is eclectic. This is K and Company paper. Okay. And it didn't go around fully. So there is a strip here left um, that I haven't covered yet because I haven't decided what I want to do with it. Of course, with the one I would make to sell, I would have that covered. Um, the baby baby paper is uh, specifically for my nephew. I have some pictures of him I want to put in here. And it would not be in the one I make because this is the last piece I have of that. And then the balloon one would most likely not be either because this is in here for a specific reason as well. Um, same with this vellum piece. Um, won't be in there. Cause that's all I have with that. So it's just plain. I'm just showing you what I have and basically trying to figure out if there's any interest in me making more. So I started using it. Um, this is a picture a couple years ago at my cousin's wedding. He had a little photo booth thing, which was the neatest thing ever. Um, and like I said, Previously, uh, for the next little while, all the journals I make will go to help, uh, all the journals I sell will go to help cover the cost um, for my brother's puppy. Uh, there's a $6,000 vet bill and going up. And um, it's due to the fact that she had a torn ACL and there was complications with the surgery. So this is a double page spread. I really like this. So obviously this particular, well, this, it may be, I have more of this paper, but there'll be a couple of pages in your smash book that I make that are double spreads. Um, I don't know if it'd be this page particularly, but I like that. Um, yeah, so there's a torn ACL and complications with surgery. Um, obviously I have pictures on those pages already.
This is a birthday card from a friend. She actually passed away this year. Um, yeah, so I really want to keep that card. Uh, and with the puppy, the biggest thing is right now is um, it's kind of, you know, like you said, the last thing he had left of, of his life before his um, girlfriend passed away in a motorbike accident. So this, this puppy is, you know, very important to him, to our whole family. I mean, my mom cares for her almost 100% of the time. My brother is working out of province, but uh, oops, these pages need to be, uh, I don't know for sure if I'll glue them together. I'll probably glue these pages together. They were, uh, they were a spread that somebody made and I just put in here. But anyways, um, yeah, it's, it's his last little bit of, of his girlfriend. She loved that puppy. So, yeah. And this is the last page. Um, so the thing with Smashbooks is you don't want to overfill them because the whole point is to put ephemera pieces and things like that in there. And um, you can write in them, of course, but when you add pictures and things like that, it's going to bulk your journal up a lot more than writing. So you don't want to embellish them to start with like you would a junk journal because um, you wouldn't have room for everything else otherwise. This is a photo I took many years ago and I put an envelope in it to add, to hold pieces that I may want to get into my Smashbook that I just haven't gotten into right away. And this is the back. Oops. And yeah, so that is my Smashbook. And um, yeah, like I said, Diane H inspired me to make this kind of of her favorite things she was showing a Smashbook. And so that's kind of what I want to add to this. I have, you know, um, some pictures in here, as you saw, of people that are important to me. And I will just be adding um, different things that I won't be necessarily adding to my 2019 one. Um, I kind of forgot when I started this that I already had a 2019 smash book. So this will be some older stuff and then maybe some stuff that I just don't want to put in my 2019 smash book. But anyways, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoy. If you are interested in one, leave me a comment. I will make one. I will only be making one more with these papers as that's all I have papers cut for. Um, as well, if there's maybe a certain theme or something uh, you would like, I can try that too. Once again, leave that in the comments. Thank you for watching.